I see big things. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty smooth. What's up everyone? We are heading to Beverly Hills to do a photo and video shoot with Method Man. Now if that's a little confusing to you, you probably missed Meth's NBC appearance during the championship series. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you not gonna intro us? I, I am, I am. Yeah, we're still here. And we're bringing a squad for this photo and video shoot. What's up, RJ? How close are we? Are we almost there? Ah, uh, 15 minutes. What's up, Jordy? How we doing? Let's backtrack for a second and find out how we even got to this moment. When we found out Method Man played lacrosse in high school, we knew we had to do something. We wanted to work with him in an authentic, creative fashion. Ain't no stepping on my feet when I'm shooting for my goal. Ain't no stepping in the crease. So we premiered Boom on NBC Sports, watched it go viral on social media, dropped it on Spotify, but we weren't done yet. Which brings us to today. Play Boom by Method Man on Spotify. Now playing Boom PLO Anthem. Ladies and gentlemen! Let's go! Get in there, ref! The way the game elevates and grows along with the uh, the talent, it's going to be incredible. So yeah. they basically going to be doing backflips over people. It's going to be one of the plays. I got sent a lot of DM videos from not just guys lacrosse, but a lot of girl lacrosse teams with the music. So first off, you ever vlogged before? No. What's that? You just look into the camera and you bring a lot of juice. Hey, this meth right here, I got the juice. <laughs> 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 yeah. Paul brought up the tattoo, right? Yeah. Matt St. Laurent, you're a Woods fan. Meth, if you're watching, you gotta come join the Woods. Roll with the Woods, baby. I grew up on Method Man. I'm a Woods fan for life now because of that tattoo, man. Thank for you. For life. Okay, great. That's for a life. good uh, That's a good lead into my question. Because Nat supported you back in the day, yeah. got the woo tatted on his foot, will you get the Redwoods tattooed on you? I can't get any more tattoos based off of my new job, acting. So <laughs> I do have my Redwoods helmet. You ever seen that episode of Honeymooners, Captain Video Video Helmet? That's what I'll be wearing when I watch my TLL. <laughs> I'll be wearing a green Redwoods helmet, even if they aren't playing. I'm gonna rock all the teams. I don't give a fuck. I'm <laughs> but they are fucking good, aren't they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Now, I know we've been working on this collab for a few months with your team. Mm -hmm. This is the first time you've seen a sample. You know, anything camo, that's right up my motherfucking alley, off top. When 2K Sports do the first lacrosse game, yep. when you build your own character, throw the meth PL up. Half <laughs> wood. <laughs> what do you think about the back? Yeah, double, double zero. zero. If you had double zero, that means everybody was hunting for your head because you was the man on the team, or you got that much respect that you can have a double zero, you dig? Boom! <laughs> funny you mentioned nicknames and you got a hell of a lot of them. iron lung Italian stallion yeah. uh panty raider where the hell did that one come from that was panty a song raider? i wrote when i was like 15 16 <laughs> years old i hadn't raided any panties actually but you know it, it was wishful thinking mma style that, that type of movement ah. <laughs> But we were proud. Him said, Tigers. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Ah, that blue, that blue. <laughs> hey, hey. What did you, uh, would you call Stu Gatz that? Would you, would you say that? Those Port Washington kids were pretty wimpy, man. I remember when we played them, they were crying like little. <laughs> Everybody got in the penalty box that game. That sounds like a US Canada game. <laughs> just most time spent in the box. Brutal. I would love to be at one of those. I know? just want this COVID to be over so I can sit on the sideline and That's just, you know, just do the damn thing, you know, back and forth. Eh. Yo, are you a left? You're a lefty? I'm a lefty. Yes, sir. Lefty. Boo! Our younger audience who haven't seen How High, haven't seen The Wire, didn't grow up with you, can we start with the basics? What was the best moment for you on the lacrosse field in your life, Matt? It was at Hempstead High School. I got put in a penalty. Minute 30 penalty. Did you earn it? Yeah. No, well, no, I didn't earn that one. I'm sitting on the sideline, and once that minute 30 is over, I can run back in there. I'll run back in there, but I'm keying on one person. The dude that I got the penalty with, I knocked him on his ass. <laughs> Whistle. It was a bad body check. I yeah. It was bad. And I looked at the ref, and I picked up on it. I was like, no, that's a Penalty. How about when you scored your first goal? It was my third game. You would have thought I won the Super Bowl. I was very happy. You couldn't tell me I wasn't the nicest one on the field that day. Someone who's so incredibly accomplished in music, acting. What's one lesson lacrosse has taught you, Meth, that you've applied in your career? Don't eat the yellow snow. <laughs> uh -uh. No one man is bigger than the team. There is no I in team, but there is one in win. Is it a stylish thing for us to keep the, the sticker on the bottom or should we just take that off the hat? So they can barcode us in the middle of the video, stop it, see where they can get the hat. Hell yeah. All right, we're going to take pictures right here. Yes, sir. How we doing, Jordan? Can't get better than this. 
So we had to find some places that fit the description of this capsule. So we found the grittiest places we could, Matt. Is this pretty gritty for Beverly Hills? Hell to the no, this is <laughs> the grittiest part of this whole area is maybe that sign right there, no <laughs> trespassing under penalty of law. I'm the grittiest thing out here right now. Please believe that, we in Beverly fucking Hills. How's it feel, Matt? Is it comfy? It fit fits. It's not, you know, too bulky. Well, who doesn't like that logo? That logo's f***ing amazing right there. Come on. Roll Woods. <laughs> Roll Woods. <laughs> RJ Kaminsky. Yeah, I said it. I said it. RJ Kaminsky. What's up, PLL Nation? That was pretty good. You're going to take my job, man. You're pretty good. What'd you say? You don't actually play for the Woods, do you? Uh, no, I don't play for the Woods. I hype them up. That's what I do. You do. You're, you're definitely like the Joey Styles of the PLL. Who's Styles that? I was, I was born in 95. All right, well, Joey Styles used to be the Vince McMahon of that. He had a lot of style. How we talked about your nicknames. Um, could you give me one for myself? I was Tank in college. That was my only nickname. Tank? How'd you get it? Um, I was a tank. I could, I could handle, I could handle myself in school, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say take. I don't know, RV? Shit, I'll take RV. RV Kaminsky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, meth. Gritty as hell, right? Gritty. <laughs> no. Gritty factor? Come on, give me like a six. Not at all. And when Heather comes out of there and says, you guys are making too much noise outside of my flat, then you'll see how gritty it's not. <laughs> when Edna come out in her bathroom. Yeah, there she goes right there. See, speaking of the devil. There goes oh, Edna. Man. You ever work with two directors this talented? Yo, you are Joey Styles, man. Like, you, you can sell an Eskimo fan, brother. <laughs> all right. But for real, you and uh, the girl, y'all did uh, the wraparound thing. That was pretty good. Oh, Lisa. Yeah, it was dope. It was, it was pretty much flawless. You guys played well off each other, too. Thanks, Matt. I'll share that with Lisa. If you haven't downloaded it, go do it now. And then when Fox Sports and ESPN comes looking for a new commentator, they'll bypass you and take her. That's oh, it. don't do that. Now, you wouldn't mind if she, she got a, a shot before you did, right? Brought you up with her. If Lisa goes to the top, I am perfectly fine with her taking me with her. <laughs> we should get out of here. This is a dangerous neighborhood. <laughs> oh, that's going to be the one, too. I know it. How am I in Cali this long and I ain't even high? When I'm shooting for my goal, ain't no stepping in the crease. I'm guessing nobody told you I'm a legend in these streets. Have you ever lived out in LA, Meth? I've been out here two years and I'm not going back to New York. I actually lived in the uh, house from Heat that Al Pacino had in Heat, mm. in Glass House. All they advised me was do not break anything. Nice. And do not smoke in the house. <laughs> it's probably tough for you to so follow. So after I smoked in the house, <laughs> My youngest came in there and broke something the first day, the candelabra. <laughs> broke a candelabra. My candelabra cost me 30 grand. But what the hell is a, a candelabra? What, what is that? That's the thing you hold a candle in. Okay. Somebody educate <laughs> RJ. Right, you know what a chupacabra is? Some, like, ain't that like a ch with the isn't sugar that, on it? Chupacabra? Yeah. Ain't that some shit at Taco Bell? That's a chalupa. <laughs> churro. A churro, I thought that was the with the sugar on it. But what did you say? Chupacabra? Yeah. Monster. Scary as shit, you know, I, I have a phobia of big bodies of water and shit. Hmm? Where did the conversation go? This is so f***ing worth it, right? So this f***ing ship, this f***ing ship, it has all these people in it. It's rising up through the water like this, but there's a light on. And when it gets to the head, this is the size of the ship. This is the size of the head of the f***ing, what's the thing in the, um, the... Moby Dick. Do you know what I'm talking about, bro? The thing, Lovecraft. Uh, the, the thing that comes out of the ocean. The Kraken? It's not a Kraken. It comes out of the ocean? Yo, you know what I mean? You know <laughs> Let's just about? move on the photo shoot. Let's just keep going. Cool, all right, on you. You can just keep walking towards. <laughs> I never finished my story, but anyway. Oh no. This thing, it looks like a squid, but it has a body. No, 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 see, y'all don't understand. This, this will give you a better idea of what it is. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, like, scary. Don't <laughs> but they're saying in the apocalypse, this son of a bitch comes out the ocean and it's gonna be on fire. Cthulhu. I was right. That was it. Sure, I don't know what question we were answering, but you're right. Let's let's keep moving. Right, though. Though. I was right. Look. So in YouTube world, I usually people get dressed in like snaps and things like that. So let me just throw this your way. All right. You know what YouTube is? Ready? So do I know what YouTube is? I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Three, go. two, one. Ah. Oh, wow. You are great at that. I'm an actor. Meth, you've got a lot of celebrity friends. Who should get a sweatshirt, a tee, or a hat from the collab? 
I say Big Shaq, Shaq Diesel. You don't need a bed sheet. Something nice, thick, because he'll break through that too. Bed sheet for Shaq, that covers sports. How about music? Get Redman, Punk Doc. Yeah. Redman ever play lacrosse? No, but he smoked Redwoods, I mean, backwoods, oh. I mean. Cool, we'll get Redman hooked up. <laughs> Punk Doc. Meth, so basic, man. The palm trees, might as well get him a Starbucks latte. Uh, and a kale salad. Who taught you that? Yeah! Who taught him that? <laughs> Would you box, Paul? Hell to the no. You gotta give me somebody short. I'll box you, RJ. Nah. No. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. <laughs> hey, Meth, what's the weirdest uh, word in your lexicon that you say in your daily life that people give you shit for? Well, to cow people up for many years. You used to just use that shit randomly. Like, yeah. You know when you be talking to somebody and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Work. Short order that one night. That was quick. <laughs> one rapper you know that would be a good lacrosse player. Who is it? Quavo. Yeah, why is that? Amigo. Seen uh, footage of him playing football as well as basketball. Got some moves. You think we'll see him in the PLL one day? Probably not. He makes more money. Um, the rapping thing's working out pretty thing. well yeah, for him. Pretty good. It's a pretty good uh, racket there, you know? What ain't, floor is the penthouse, Matt? They ain't stop, yo. Ain't no penthouse in this mall. Did they jip you here? What, what do we got? They said you're like one of their favorite guests. Yeah, I am, but they don't give me no penthouse. <laughs> right. They reserved that for like, I don't know, Oprah? You gotta be like Oprah. You gotta be like <laughs> James Cavill. <laughs> and yeah, James <laughs> with one of those dudes. We're on the fifth floor. Plus, I get to wear my own stuff to games, which is dope. I think that uh, Paul and the guys behind the PLL are way ahead of the game. They're very smart to even tap in and do something like this. Never been done before. Plus, you get a free Wu logo. What the f All right, Matt, that was great. We spent a great day together. I want to thank you. Yes, um, sir. Yo, next time we see you, I will be at a PLL game, hopefully. <laughs> you know, no, I'm going to get COVID tested and all that shit. I'm going to hold RJ to it. <laughs> and make sure, all right, guys? And we're going to have a blast. We're going to have Qu a blast. Quick question. Skybox or on the field? Uh, depends. Maybe if I want to boss up that day. No, I'm a regular guy. On the field. <laughs> we'll see you on the field. See you guys next week. You're an actor, I'm sure we can do this in one take. Swipe up to get the PLL business, the merchandise, the stuff, the, the <laughs> Oh shit, you had me up. All right.